Remember the vulnerability that was discovered from Apple devices on iOS 11? Well, Apple just released iOS 11.2.2 to fix the vulnerability of your iPhone. So let's go to download this and see what it's all about. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So Apple has released the security patch for your iPhones. Now here, I have an iPhone 10 and I pulled out the iPhone 6, not the 6S, not the 7, not the 8, I pulled out the iPhone 6. Uh, if, if, if your iPhone is running iOS 11, uh, there's a vulnerability of security uh, issues with your device. So Apple just released iOS 11.2.2 on iOS devices that fix some of the security issues. So what you want to do, and we could go to both devices here. All right, and we're going to go to general. And right here, iOS 11.2.2 on the iPhone 6. That means you're getting the latest software on your iOS device and uh, you're getting the, the latest software here with the iPhone 10, which is iOS 11.2.2 to fix the vulnerabilities of the iPhone. So this is a security uh, update and I highly recommend that everybody download this patch here. All right, so let me go to put in my password on both devices and we're gonna download iOS 11 dot two dot two on uh, both of these devices all right one of the good things of owning the ios device that apple does update their devices i mean you're talking about an iphone 6 here and an iphone 10. the iphone 6 is a very old device but it's running the latest software along with all your ios devices ranging from the iphone 6 on up to the iphone 10 which is a good look for Apple. Okay, so as I'm doing this update, uh, I'm noticing it's about 15, 20 minutes in, and it's taking an awful long time to do this very, very short update. Uh, under 90 megs, I believe this update was. So be advised when you downloading and doing this update on your iOS device, uh, as you can see right here, I'm all the way at the end, but it's kind of stuck and it's on both devices. All right, so I'm about 15, 20 minutes in, and it's kind of stuck there, but I'm gonna let it roll. But I just wanted to let y'all guys know uh, that uh, if you're doing this update, you have to be patient, even though it's a small update, but it's taking a very long time. Okay, so both of the devices are done. Even though it was a small download, it took a very long time to update, all right? So we are definitely at iOS 11.2.2. Let me go on and go to, um, general and i go to about as y'all can see it's going to be ios 11.2.2 all right so this one also is going to be 11.2.2 and it's going to be 15c202 so there it is iphone 6 iphone 10. now one of the questions you guys may have is that why I do both of the iPhones look different is because if you, right now I have it set up under the display and I have what's called True Tone, all right? So if I turn it on here and I wanna show you guys that because I know a lot of you guys might ask questions in the comments. Uh, so I had it on a True Tone display and on the iPhone 6, I got the brightness almost all the way up and I got the brightness halfway down here. All right, so I wanna kind of show you guys because a lot of people ask those questions, why one device is brighter than the other device? But there it is. Now, you wanna download this, it's because this is for the vulnerability of your iPhone. We had a security issue with iPhones and uh, iOS devices. So you want to download iOS 11.2.2 for security purposes. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about the iPhones in all its glory. iPhone 10 
in a very old iPhone 6 has the latest software rolling. See you guys on the next video. Peace.